with Orioles second baseman Jonathan Scope. Last year, 16 home runs for the Orioles. A great season for the youngster. This year started off on fire as well. Three home runs, but then an unfortunate injury. And I want to talk today with Jonathan about that injury and his process of coming back because he is a much stronger, seems like a better player right now. Look, you're looking good. Tell, tell us about the day that injury happened against the Red Sox and what your, what was going through your mind. Um, that day was tough because when I heard it, I wasn't feel like I'm going to be out for a long time. I feel like it's a week, maybe five-day things. And then when the result come in, they told me uh, PCL and MCL. I didn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. And I say somebody got Buck and Brady, Richie, all those guys talk with me. And kind, kind of things you got to go through. And those you got to make make yourself stronger do something something you got to do to keep it up you know and it was tough it was tough in the first especially t first two weeks because I like to play baseball that's all I know how to do and I could have stay out of it you know and I have to so you, so you obviously have to be very patient with an injury like that so it took you a little while just to get the swelling out and when you started your actual rehab process um, and you started that strengthening of that knee area. Did you jump right into it? Uh, was it like all day kind of thing? And um, how intense was it, say, the first month? Um, when I started my rehab, um, first of all, I, I, I gotta say thank you to Dave and then Brady. It helped me a lot with my strength, it helped me a lot. And then, to be honest, I was talking with Manny because Manny, it wasn't the same injury, but he got injury to a knee, and he told me what what I should do and what I expect, you know, and this, everything that he told me that come out, you know, he told me the first first week you're gonna start going out, you're gonna feel this, you're gonna feel that, and it was true. And I didn't go all the way but I was going like 60, then progressed to go 70, and then 80. And then my first game, I didn't go 100%. I go like 80, and Brady told me, push it, push it, and see where you are. Then I push it, and I feel, oh, feeling better, feeling better. And me and Manny was talking every day, and he told me, in three weeks, you're going to feel this, feel, feel that. And it was true about it, too. So, so what about the strengthening? Now, you've talked about you feel stronger, yeah. so you must have gotten after it a little bit harder and maybe you kind of reestablished a workout program for yourself um, because instead of having surgery, you obviously strengthen that area and you're moving around 100% right now. But it, first of all, was that new to you, that intense kind of training for your lower body? And um, do you have to continue that? Yeah, it was. It was. You know, it was my hardest one that I ever worked at, even in the offseason. That's because me and Brady was going after him. We was working twice a day, in the morning and in the afternoon, running a lot, lifting a lot, you know, and if something got to do it, for my whole career, you know, because I feel like, like I say, I'm stronger. I feel stronger. I feel I move better. I don't know if I move better, but I feel like I move better. And there's something I got to do at least four times a week. I got to, and plus, plus I got a routine going on right now that I go in the gym and stretch, do something to build it up and keep fire, fire them up, and especially my hips, hamstring, quad, everything, you know, something I got to do for my own career. So you're going to do it your whole career, yeah. and you're going to maintain that strength and try to keep building that strength. Um, but is that going to be something hard to do? Or since you said you established this routine, is now this part of Jonathan Scope's every day uh, show up to the field and get yourself stronger and ready in that way? Yeah, that's that, that's that was part of my routine. You know, I come in, um, sit sit a little bit, talk with my teammates, and then I jump right in, into it. Go in the gym and do my stuff, my routine. Go in the cage, go back in the gym, and that's that, that's part of me already. If I don't do it, I feel I miss something, you know, because I want to be here. I, I want to play this game for a long time, and I, I have to do it. So looking back on that injury, and now you're 22 games in off since coming off the disabled list, maybe or maybe less than that. It was the beginning of July that you came back. Yeah, I think it was. Um, Looking back through that, the course of that injury, do you think this is something that could ultimately help you learning how to train differently, maybe feeling better about your lower half and stronger? And uh, so instead of it being a negative thing, having an injury could turn it into a positive. Yeah, first, first, first when I heard it, it was a negative for me because I couldn't believe it. But now I say, mm, it's, this helped me. It helped me, you know, make me understand that you got to work. You got to 
prepare yourself better for the game. You got to work your lower half, you know, to feel stronger. And I feel stronger than before. And first, it was negative, but now I take it like a positive because it helped me a lot, you know, how to go your business, you know, be ready for the game, get, um, get a routine going on, you know. And I, I take it like a positive right now. It helped me a lot. Well, Jonathan Scope uh, certainly on the positive track. Six home runs in his 22 games this season with the Orioles, one of the great young stars in the game. And it's good for the Orioles to have him back, not only defensively, but offensively.